frozen all the dragon masters. Yeah. Oh no, what a tragedy. You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here. Why didn't they find the fire within? <laughs> and I mean that literally. Now, you notice they they just reuse enemies. Does that enemy right there look familiar? From say Fireworks Factory and Spyro Year the Dragon? Mm-hmm. Mm And of course, they also reuse sound effects too. I do sort of recognize the sound effects whenever you hurt an enemy. Hmm? What the? F what the? Um. What? What? Did that seem strange to you? Uh, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, see, this game was fun to play when we were kids, but when we get older, we kind of start noticing how much of basically a technical mess that it actually is. It's still nice to play every once in a while. Yeah, it's still nice to play even if it is a little bit slow. Wait, the back, huh? The, the uh, oh, I'll kill it. Around there, there are baskets. That work? Down here? No, 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 the other way. There, there, there. And around the oh, whole yeah. area there. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about those. Also, if you look closely, I'm not sure if we'll get it, but when you like do some of these things, the gems will come out weird. You like? Nope, not that one. How about this one. Nope, that one's good. How about this one. Nope, that one's good. Sometimes for some reason they'll just come out like being what the? I'm trying. Invisible wall. Oh man. Forgot I put the wall there. Double D. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sometimes when you break open a basket or a, a vase, you'll see the gems just come flying out upside down like... The hit detection on this is nonsense. Staff. Steffi. Steffi, Steffi, Staff, whatever. Upside down. No. Upside down. No. Upside down. Oh, well. Nope, they're all coming out all nice and good. You do also gotta admit to the hit that they have nice level designs. Yeah, the level designs are pretty fun. This water rippling seems kind of weird. Yeah. And like, for instance, they have really nice trees here. Ooh, giant cricket. Give me the cricket. It's protein. Wait. I think I saw a gem by those doors. Uh, okay. Hey, it's a gem. And yeah, I think somewhere weird. at the beginning, well, on one of those uh, rocks. Uh, one of these rocks? Or maybe around the front. Oh, or there, there, yeah. Moving behind the rocks. Jim. <coughs> I like how quickly these things respond. Also, yeah, the level design is nice, but, like, for some reason, whenever I look off the edge of the levels, it feels kind of empty. Like some sort of weird space effect uh, below? Yeah, it's really weird. 
one thing they have that Spyro 1, 2, and 3 doesn't have is like the stuff in the background moving in the skyboxes. That's pretty neat, I guess. Yeah, mainly the clouds. Hello. Ah, Spyro. Thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. <laughs> Who would have thought Bruce. the Bruce talks were dead yeah, get it. the secret dragonfly <laughs> dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the dragon masters. Remember, Spyro, the way of the dragon is to be a dragon. Okay. What does that even mean? I think uh, they mean dragon in the cry sense. Eh. Door open. It really has been a long time since I played this. Yo, camera, calm down now. Hey, it's a big fella. A floating big fella. <laughs> He looks pretty dumb, but he's also big and fat. Why don't you? But I don't, I don't think you can charge him. Try flaming him. Did you know that Spyro, did you describe the most creatures have been aversion to anything above 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit? You don't say. You don't say. Are you sure, Sparks? Did you fact check that? I don't know, 7800 degrees Fahrenheit seems pretty comfy if you ask me. Also, yeah, he is totally floating. On one foot, uh, that would be exact. Huh, on the left foot. That would actually be nice. Let the viewers know that I had, that I had twisted my foot while going downstairs. Pretty bad. But it was I'm a recovering. pretty painful experience. But, I'm recovering. I can't wait for us to get that uh, Luau level, that island level or whatever. I like the music in that one too. Yeah, also in that level they have a they have a pretty like like pretty big uh, glitch when it comes to rendering the graphics. Where if you go through part of a level and then backtrack a little bit, the graphics and like a whole section of the level won't be rendered at all, and you'll be just floating around on solid nothingness. Zoe! <coughs> How about you should let the fairy explain it, Sparks? Yeah. Is there a reason the fairy can't explain it? Do they maybe not have the money to get a voice actor for her? Maybe we should name this Sparks and of the Dragonfly. <laughs> Kablingzo! Her, honey, her, her. You ever notice that, uh, that in that speedway level, that was the other thing? That's uh, in this level ha has some guys that look like they're from Colossus. I have noticed that actually. This game seems to be pretty keen on recycling enemy designs and stuff from all its power games, it seems. Those guys weren't exactly uh, enemies at that time. Uh, enemy designs, NPC designs, the uh, character design in general. Probably, they probably recycle designs because of, of course, the, like, time rush they're under. It's too bad that they haven't, re that they don't recycle old levels to, uh, go, huh? go back to in certain, uh, in certain games. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Come to think of it, them recycling maybe an old, old level or two, I feel like that might have helped them a bit with this game since they were under time rush and stuff. The only, the only thing that they came close to, uh, to uh, going through old levels was, uh, was uh, like, there's this uh, D uh, that Nintendo DS game, Spyro Shadow Legacy, and I, uh, that I uh, finished about 10 years back. They were, they were able to, uh, you know, Use uh, the names of the levels, uh, I mean, or at least Avalar, Forgotten World, etc. It might not look the same that was in the that was in the original trilogy, but at least it's uh, nice to know that they were able to backtrack through uh, certain areas. 
I can't remember if it's uh, in specific levels, though. Yeah, when it comes to games like Spyro or, say, Ratchet and Clank, you end up going and visiting, like, just a ton of different worlds and stuff. They, I think they put a little too much work in creating all the worlds. In games like Spyro or Ratchet and Clank, it wouldn't, like, be that much of a crime for us to be able to go back to some levels. Yeah. I mean, in, a, in at least three Ratchet and Clank games, you're able to go, you're able to go to Metropolis. And each time, Metropolis looks a little bit different, or in this case, a lot different in the uh, in the uh, Tools of Destruction game. <coughs> where are we going? I'm doing my thing where I go and check around for any gems that I might have missed. Which, in this game, uh, takes a little longer than the other Spyro games. Because of, like, the uh, somewhat clunky movement we got going on here. <coughs> Dragonfly, I see you there. And they got Spyro here saying the names for all the dragonflies. They could have just kept it the way they did it in Spyro 3, getting the eggs, as in it's silent, but. Mm. Well, I don't know, I mean. They kind of did that in Spyro 1. Oh, you'd have a small little cutscene every time you rescued a dragon, so... Speaking of dragons, it's kind of nice of them that in uh, this game they were able to, uh, able to use a certain uh, dra dragons from the eggs that were hatched. Shows that they're growing up. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's time for another loading screen. Loading screen, loading screen. I will admit, this this would look cool as a little uh, wallpaper. Yeah. This doesn't matter too much, but I like how they, like, that little uh, background thing they have going on there. They didn't, like, plan for that to be in 16 by 9 so it's just black on both sides of it. Yeah. Bonsai Speedway. Let's see, two challenges. Is there like a one of those secret hunter challenges in this, like in the Spyro 3 and 2? I looked. There's not. Uh, so it's literally just these two and nothing else? Literally just these two and nothing else. Wow, okay. Let's do the time attack, I guess. The easiest way to win the time attack is to start with the rings, like the lanterns, bust down the rickshaws, and chase down the thumb rip tucks. After you've gotten used to the flying around, you can always find a faster way to course the bonsai. Sure. <coughs> yeah, just these two and nothing else. Wow. And the difference is between this and, and uh, the demo, we can actually hit our targets. Yeah. Sorry guys, you should probably go back to Colossus. We should probably go back to Colossus Prince and see the idols. What genius made it think that that was what the level's name was? It actually was originally what the level's name was before they changed it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Whoa, okay, Spiral, calm down there for a second, pal. Oh, I need to flame that. Whoops. Is it, is it just me, or does that time limit seem, like, like very generous? Yeah, a little too generous, if you ask me. Oh, wait a second, never mind. I don't think it's that generous at all, because notice how we don't get any time refill when we hit these things. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I remember, I remember playing this. Oops, oopsie. I might have to do this over again. 
No matter. We got we got three lanterns and we can catch up to those guys. I think. Or four. Four. That, that, that's what I meant for. Yeah, that's what I meant for. Now, holy moly, can we find those guys or are we... Did we goof? Wait. There they are. Get them! Quick, turn around. Oh, that was too close. Oh, man. Complete. The animations look a little weird here. Especially those rickshaw guys. Uh, <laughs> you're in the new best time. One minute fifty nine seventeen. You want to try again? No, I don't. Thank you. No. Yay! I want a dragonfly. <laughs> now it's a. Rashomon. That's an interesting name compared to the names we've been getting so far. Also, this just occurred to me. This is an interesting concept that we're in a speedway right now because we're also in a regular level too. Speedways are usually their own regular levels. Huh. Race the ninjas. Okay. Okay. all the green. Okay. Here's the red dots to guide you. Okay. You kind of heard that the first time, I think. Yeah. Let's go. The races in Spyro 3 are pretty fun. The races in this, uh, they could be better. Why does the racing style in this one almost feel like the one in the in the country speedway in the third game? I don't know. Here's off of maybe like a the feel of a little Japanese countryside, maybe. I guess so. That was a that was a pretty short lap. Um, okay. You must have gone so fast. Look, yeah. one racer is faster than the other. <laughs> and I think the one that went into the loop is one, one that we want to pass. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, of course. Try again. Of yeah, course. totally try again because we need to get the dragonfly. Off course? Of course. Of course we went off course, of course. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> we're in fourth place. Blamzo, you're dead, so good. Oh, goddamn, Spyro. Second place. Wait, don't fire! Too late! Oh. 
It's the same, the same one. <laughs> the exact same one on the exact same left. Oh my gosh. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Spyro 3. Oh, this game makes me appreciate Spyro 3 a lot more, I have to say. That's because Spyro 3 is the best one. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Well, that am Ripton's Rage. Yeah, I'd say those two are in pretty steady competition for best Spyro game. When I was a kid, whenever, whenever I always had that, uh, that pizza demo disc. Uh, that's all I've ever wanted to play on Are that demo disc. Are you kidding? You saw that, right? I oh. went through the ring. Yeah, I saw that. That is... Oh my god. I hate this. I hate this race. This race is the pits. Welcome to Bonsai Speedway Hell, everybody. Population us. If I had to pick a favorite race that was in, uh, that was in the uh, four uh, four speedways, that was uh, that was in the third game. Um, I'm gonna go with the Honey Speedway. Uh, they had uh, its race because uh, uh, that one actually uh, was pretty fun. Yeah, Honeycomb Speedway and Near the Dragon. Yeah, Near the Dragon. I love that one. That one's my favorite too. Oh, whoops! That one didn't have. As much auto lock as I thought it did. I think those uh, they are cheating because they uh, because they're not passing through the rings. Well, they, I'm pretty sure that the developers cheated with this game. Speaking of cheats, does this game have any cheat codes? I'm not gonna use them. I'm just kind of curious because the other Star games have cheat codes. Well, there is only one, but you have to be, but you have to be ripped through a third time in order to use it, so it so it can help locate the gems. Oh, oh that. Hmm. I guess that could sound kind of useful. I don't know why they had to make that a cheat code since that was readily available in two and three. Well, uh, technically, in the third one, you had to earn that one uh, through a uh, sparks level. Oh, yeah, that's right. As for the second one, I don't know, I don't remember uh, uh, that one being available uh, at the time. It was. It, they just didn't, like, mention it at all. Yeah, in the second game, you can hold down all the trigger buttons and swap to point to a gym. Oh. We finally beat the race. Hooray. Try again? No. no. <laughs> Just a big old Lucas style no there. Lucas style? Yeah. Oh. No! no! <laughs> Yay, Dragonfly. Hey, it's your Jimbo. Yo Jimbo, what kind of a name is Yo Jimbo? That's what I say that's what I say to my friend Jimmy. Yo Jimbo. <laughs> Oh boy, I know what I want to play. Exit level, that's what I want to play. Alright, we can always come back. You serious? Most peaceful place on, on the board, eh? You, you sure race the tracks, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you do the race. See how peaceful it is to you. Also, that's like, this. these are the only speedways in the whole series that don't give gems. See, no treasure found. Only speedway. What about the heck? What about the uh, the uh? Well, the speedways in general in Spyro into the Dragonfly are the only speedways oh. that I know of. Because the speedways of Spyro one, two, and three all give gems. <laughs>